doing uh, me and Jafter. That's <laughs> not his name. Man behind the camera. We're at Musikproduktiv Hausmesse, which is actually way better than the Frankfurt Music Show. It is. So I am the rep ref. I'm an, actually an Aussteller. Ref asked me to uh, be the rep for them. The only problem is that the shipment got delayed, so all we have is this amp from the store, which means we have no backdrops, we have nothing, but we have the best amps here. We do. So all day we played the Dynamis, which, oh my god, what an amp. And we played it all day. I, I built a little pedal board. Let's look at my pedal board. I built this quickly this morning so that I had some backing tracks here so that I can actually noodle it out along. And um, we put a Keeley Compressor Plus here for boosting, a Warhorn. That's going into the amp and in the effects loop we have a total recall because awesome. Silver Spring Reverb, which with the Dynamis we don't need because it has a built in, you know. Um, and so, yeah, we played all day and of course I brought Molly. Molly is here. Everyone loves it. Everyone who sits down and play can't stop playing the Dynamis with the McMull. Um, Alex behind the camera, he's like, ah, I need this. Ah, I've been all white, you know, like mommy, just wiping off the drool. Yeah, that's what we're doing all day with him. Um, so yeah, this is my booth. Hopefully tomorrow it gets a bit bigger. That is what she always says. Um, here, we have Victory, right here. Um, Aaron, everyone's already gone. That's why we're doing this now, because now it's actually quiet. Uh, Victory brought a whole bunch of amps, and we know most of them. The brand new one I just played is the Richie Katzen, which in German means Richie Vomit. It really does, but <laughs> it's, it, it really does. It's a pretty brilliant amp, only tone control, gain boostable in the back, reverb master, and here you have tremolo. Even if you don't need that, who cares? This part, freaking awesome. To get the clean really spanky, you have to get the tone up and really get the master up, but Put the boost in, crank this. It is a really thick, saturated lead. Absolutely cool. We'll clock in at about, I don't know, 11.50 or something. And it's white, which is neat. So that's what I played, but because I was at the booth all day, so I don't really know anything else, but we'll walk around. So I'm gonna have to talk to Ibanez. This tool that they have is awesome, but I have it in red, twice. I didn't know they made it in green and yellow and blue. I might have wanted a green one. So Daniel from Ibanez, why do I get a red one? Red is not my favorite color. I would have liked this one. So I'm gonna send you my tool back and I want the blue one. But this tool is actually pretty damn awesome. It's here, it's 10 bucks and you have screwdriver, Allen wrenches, you have a little measuring thing, you have uh, hex, hexes. I don't know what this thing is for. What was this? What is this? Is it? I don't know what that is for. And here you have a little, this is a little hammer. You can't go, ah, 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 ah. No. This is really handy to have. HH. So, yeah, I'm this. We're gonna take all this. No one's watching. And they have tempers. What is wrong with Ibanez? 
So here we have drums and we can't go further because we can't. So, so we can't. We follow these people. We don't know where they're going, but we just follow them. It's gonna be really weird stalking. We don't want to go this way though. We're gonna go this way. Hey, get me, my cousin. There's a man with a guitar. Guitar man. His name is Guitar Man. Here we have Gibson, but they're dead, so why even talk about them? Oh, they already turned them around. Here, sewer guitars, dark glass, and mayonnaise. Mayonnaise? I think that's how we say that. So we just talked to Greg Koch. Greg Koch doesn't work for Koch amps, but he has his own Koch amp, which probably happened because of the name. And this is the Greg Koch. That's a freaking amazing amp. Yeah, it's gonna clock in at over 2,500 bucks. It's got a 210, 50 watt EL34 loaded. Look what I learned. Um, two channels, second channel with boost. Amazing clean channel. It's, I mean, it's Greg Koch, it sounded amazing. But look on top. There's an extra boosty something, he explained this to me, something with vaults, I don't know. But a really cool tremolo with harmonic mode, so it's got the swooshy wooshy. And look, you can actually change the sequence with switches, a reverb, um, and that's the power section. And you can go half power. This is a very, very, very nice amp, and it's really light for a, an amp of that size. So, if you like Greg Koch's tones, that's the shit. I hope I can get them and get him in front of my camera tomorrow. Here we have pedals from CMS Cut Musical Supply. They have a lot of a lot of a lot of cool pedals. Look at this board with built-in looper switcher. It's a built-in looper switcher board by the Voodoo people. Here is Engel. We always talk to Engel, but now no one's at Engel. But let me see Engel a bit, bit more. Engel. Here's the Engel people, but they're not here. This would be where the Fender people are, but of course they're not here, from the Fender. So Alex just pointed out that he really likes, let me show you, this color. Do you like this color? Yep. What's wrong with you? I like the gray. I think the gray is awesome. But this? Yeah, but then with the, with the black pick card. Not with the white oh, this pick with card. the black pick card? Yeah, the, the, like the one over there. Yeah, but here all this stuff is confusing me. That's just too much on the guitar. I like this. That is neat. Come on. So do we need Bluetooth speakers from Fender? 220 bucks Fender Bluetooth speaker, do we need this? Alex, yes or no? E exactly. <laughs> we want good guitars from Fender. Hey, here's PS guitars. Ooh. So here we have stuff. This is absolutely beautiful. I love, I mean, that top is to die for. Look at that. The flame on the neck could be more, it could be more flamey, but that top is insane. Um, if this thing had a rosewood neck, it would be my guitar. Oh, it's light. It's a one piece top. It's the softest thing ever. It's got a mahogany neck, it's probably amazing, but it, this with the rosewood neck would be my guitar. Absolutely amazing. That one piece quilt, really, really cool. This is a, I think these are all from the wood library. Wood library. Very, very cool. Then they have a new SE, I don't know whose model that is, but apparently that's something one needs. Why is this on top? Hmm. Weird, they, they didn't used to do that. Weird stand! Uh, S2s. And then SEs. What's with the Floyd? Alex likes the Bernie Marston. And then here we have Marshall amps. Where are the, where are the amps? There's the code. There's, there's all codes. It's code, and it's a different code, and it's another code. It's just all codes. Where are the two bands? It's, it's, it's all Marshall looking. 
So we're gonna go right past here because Michelle's gonna jump in my face if we film her. She's gonna absolutely just rip my face off and there's blood everywhere and this. Since you love Marshall like now, I won't say anything. It's like that. <laughs> Since I love Marshall now, I think she misunderstood what I just told her. She just completely turned around. What I said, I don't hate them anymore. Now it's, I love it. I'll, I'll take, I take, for, I take it for granted. It's the same. It's the same thing. It's the same thing, basically. <laughs> How could I say no to this face, really? Okay, fine. I'm madly in love with Marshall now. That's what I wanted to hear. <laughs> I can always cut that bit out, you know? <laughs> I can always cut that out. <laughs> so here we have a pedal train. They have a new power supply which fits under the... What's this called? Uh, under the flat ones. So I had to use uh, a... What's it? I had to use the, uh, the Ohai for the board I built because it needs a lot of power. Um, so I don't know, the, uh, 500, 500, okay, three times 100, two times 500, could work, could work. But the cool thing is, it's got a rail, and it slides around, and it's flat enough. So yeah, that could, that could be cool. I think what they should do is just take the feet higher. That's what they should do, if you ask me. But hey, what do I know? They have a new cool bag, look at this. Very, very thick shoulder bag, which I actually think is nice. TC pedals, which we know. This is the new Bulldog stand. If you don't have space for this, and trust me, I have five of these, I know they eat up space. Um, you can actually get this, which is... Let me see if I can kill this. No? All good? It's not less stable. Uh, anything new from Walrus? No, because I would know about it. And I think I've reviewed pretty much everything that's here. Yep, pretty much everything. That's my amp. That's your amp? Yeah. I didn't know you had a Bogera. I did not know that Jeff Stilio Alex. He has a lot of names. 323 euros and it's amazing. It's am he says it's amazing. For the money, I, yes. For the money, and I don't, everyone always asks me about Bogera. I don't know because I've never... Uh, I've never really just tested them. Oh. So Next here we we'll have it along. Sandberg. Oh, look at those, that Sandberg bus. Uh, I love that sanding they do. This is a totally... Feel this. It's a very rough texture. That's what he told her. <laughs> We're in Germany where, of course, people carry beer. That's what happens. <laughs> Here we're back at Eich. Uh, you might remember them from uh, the music show in Mannheim. Most amazing bass amps. Look at this sparkly one. Look at it, look at it. What, what, what is that? Oh, that's for the bass. That is cute, huh? Nice speaker in sparkle. And there is a whole second hall, but they don't really have guitar stuff, do they? I'll take us in the other hall. Oh, I don't know if we have time. So here, loads of loud music happens. Uh, yeah, uh, club, yeah. Um, bands play here, workshops, and look at this, they build all these tents. That shit's crazy! Um, we have some acoustic guitars, more acoustic guitars. Here are my buddies from Ortega. I'm gonna say hi tomorrow. We have the different cakes, the horse cakes, the something cake, and the other cake. And you can totally go and take this, and no one would notice. What is this? String lighters. Yeah. Uh, this is actually a cool tuner with lights. Tuner lights. Um, more guitars. More people with acoustic guitars right there. And the banjos. There is never, there's never enough banjo in any kind of music. Whatever music you do, put banjo in it, trust me. It's true. Here we have kids, they put kids here too, that belongs to the whole event. They come with the event. Um, Random, Shadow, oh, should I pick up? Drums. There's another little stage. It's a little trade show, but there's actually in terms of guitar or electric guitar, there are more uh, exhibitors here. 
I think, than in, um, in Frankfurt. Which is very sad for Frankfurt, trust me. So, uh, yeah, there's some cool stuff here. And um, you've seen it. I'm gonna have a whole day tomorrow. We're gonna see if we can catch some Greg and some other people. Uh, and I'll be sitting there playing with my Mac model through the awesome Ref Dynamis, impressing people with the most amazing clean sounds on the planet. But I won't have my most amazing um, cameraman because he goes back to Dutch place, Dutch town, Dutchington. What's the country again? Something with Holland. Ho Holland! And I live in a fairy tale land. I know really lots of things. Let me show to you, my friend. Hello, I'm a crazy spoon, and I live in a cup of tea. And my only friend is the moon. Every night she's there for me. <laughs> 